This video on Jethro or Yitro in the Torah Codes is dedicated to my good friend Ross Bearden, who has helped me and encouraged me, especially when it comes to study of Jethro. Um, this video is also going to be about proper, responsible use of the Torah Codes and how to do this properly. And what is a good result versus an okay result or, you know, not a very good result. Here's an example of a good result. So we have Kani, which is one of Jethro's names, and it means Kanite. And going down in an ELS skip of 45, we see Yitro, Jethro. This is significant because it's in uh, Judges 4.11, and it says Heber the Canite. So Heber is the name that uh, Moses and Jethro share. So, uh, Heber the Canite separated himself from Cain and from the children of Hobab, who is Jethro, father-in-law of Moses. So I guess it's no surprise that you would find another one of Jethro's names connected to uh, his name and title here in an ELS. So that would be considered an interesting result. And I'll just go through here and you can see how many of these are not as tight and clean and they're like near, they're, they miss the mark. But then when you get down to uh, 42 here, there's a very interesting result in Genesis 24, 45, and 43, because we find Kani in the word Hashkani. And I have a video on, on this, on this word, very interesting word. It's a code word. It has the word Kanite in it. And again, you can find Yitro in an ELS skip connected to it, sharing this first Yud. And we'll get into what this is all about. I'm just going to show you um, the other result from the same chapter. This is from a, a couple verses up. Again, Hashkani and Yitro. So now let's see what makes these good results. Genesis 24, 43. As I stand by the spring of water, let the young woman who comes out to draw and to whom I say, please let me drink a little water from your jar and who answers, you may drink and I will also draw for your camels. Let her be the wife whom the Lord has decreed for my master's son. This is Eleazar recounting a, the story to Lavan when uh, he ran into Rebecca at the well. Again, he's out there uh, looking for a wife for Isaac, and he has specific instructions from Abraham. And here is Hashkani. And then it continues, a couple verses down. I had scarcely finished praying in my heart when Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder and went down to the spring and drew. And I said to her, please give me a drink. Again, Hashkani. Now here we are in Judges, and this is Sisera talking to Yael. Yael came out to greet Sisera and said to him, come in, come in, my lord, come in here, do not be afraid. So he entered her tent, and she covered him with a blanket. He said to her, please let me have some water, for I am thirsty. She opened a skin of milk and gave him some to drink, and she covered him again. Hashkani. So in this instance, we have two men and a woman. We have Sisera, who is from Canaanite roots, Heber the Canaanite, and his wife, Yael, two men and a woman. And then when you go back to this in Genesis 4, Eleazar recounting to Lavan about Rebekah, two men and a woman. And we all know what happened to Sisera uh, <laughs> when he went into Yael's tent? <laughs> 